If you're watching this video, you've most likely seen some of my topwater videos in the past, and you guys know how much I love to topwater fish. And one of the most common questions I get is, what is your favorite topwater lure? Or, how do I know which topwater lure to choose? So this video is going to be going in-depth on topwater fishing, and I think I've got some tips that I can give you that if you follow them, it'll help you become a better topwater fisherman. So we'll start off with the two most important factors in topwater fishing and that's going to be water temperature and wind. And water temperature plays a key role throughout the year and it definitely affects which baits that I select. There are certain baits that I won't even put in my tackle box in the spring because I know that the bass aren't going to be active enough to, to feed on those topwater lures. So we'll break it down into three sections, the spring, the summer, and the fall. And we'll start off with going through lures that I would use in each of those categories. So we'll start off with the spring. Most of you have seen my toad dangling technique. This is the time of year that the water temperature is coldest and I'll start frog fishing in the in February sometimes but usually fish are lethargic this time of year so they're not going to chase down fast moving baits. You're going to have to put a bait that goes very slow and that's going to stay in a strike zone for a long for a maximum amount of time to get that fish to strike. So I like hanging it over limbs to use that approach to where it doesn't spook them because they're up shallow. And then also it gives them longer. It keeps that bait in the strike zone for longer. So in the spring, I'm gonna use your popping style frogs, your poppers, your slow moving baits that you can twitch the rod tip a couple times and then just let it sit there, you know, for two to three seconds. So tip number one is match the speed of the topwater lure with the water temperature. And if you're not quite sure what I mean by speed of the lure, so let's just break that down into three categories. So you're just base it on your retrieve. If it's something like a popper or a popping frog to where you twitch it and then let it sit there for a couple seconds, that's gonna be in the slow category. If it's a faster moving bait, like for instance a spook where you're constantly reeling and jerking the rod tip at the same time, that's gonna be your medium speeds. And then your fastest speeds are your Incredi frogs, ribbit style frogs, buzz baits to where you're constantly retrieving the whole time. That's gonna be your fast lures. So let's match your speed with your water temperature. So let's go into kind of the post spawn you know, late spring, early summer, that's when I'm gonna swap into those medium speed topwater baits. So I'll start fishing spooks, uh, walking frogs, things of that nature to where they move a little bit faster, kind of moving side to side. That's also the time of year that fish will start actively feeding. So anything that looks like a shad is gonna be good this time of year. So I'll be using those medium speed baits in late spring and early summer. And kind of whenever that water temperature gets up to around the 85 degree range, that's when I'll start using those fast speed baits. And this is my favorite time of the year because the metabolism of fish speed up to where they have to feed more and they will actually chase baits down. And this is the time of year that I get some of my crazy blow ups. I'll start using the Incredi frogs, the whopper ploppers, the buzz baits. I'll get these crazy strikes right at the boat where fish are chasing it. And I love fishing this time of year. so. If you want to fish these style baits, this is the time of year to fish it. Don't take the Incredi frogs out and the and the fast moving baits and throw them in the springtime when those fish aren't really going to move much. You need those slower style baits then. All right, so that covers matching the speed of the bait with the water temperature. Now the next important factor is going to be wind, and you guys know just like I do that there are certain days when the wind's blowing strong, you might as well leave your top water rods at the house because if it's blowing over 12 miles an hour, there's there's no way you're gonna get out there and catch a ton on top water because the bass can't see it. So basically you need to match the noise level of your top water bait with the wind. So that's something I try to do throughout the year. So if you get out there on the water first thing in the morning, it's completely slick. You know, don't go throwing a pompadour that's making all kinds of racket. Reserve those baits for whenever there's a good chop on the water and you need to attract them. So use your more subtle style silent baits whenever there's no wind. First thing in the morning, you know, spooks are good, frogs are good, things that don't make noise. And then as that wind picks up, you want to swap over to your whopper ploppers. That's kind of a, a medium noise level bait. Your buzz baits are a little bit on the high end. 
and your pompadour is what I would consider your noisiest bait. So if that wind's blowing 10 miles an hour, but you still really want to do some topwater fishing, throw that pompadour, and that, that noise is gonna help draw the fish in because they can actually hear it and locate it in the water as to where if you're throwing a frog in 10 mile an hour wind, they're not really gonna be able to hear it, and therefore they'll never see it. So if you ask me what is my favorite topwater bait, I can't answer that because I have too many favorites. But I can tell you what are some of the more versatile topwater baits. So one, uh, probably the leader in that category is going to be the Whopper Plopper. And I say this because you can use it throughout the year. You can use it in the spring when the water temperature is low. And the reason for this is the versatile topwater baits are floating baits. So you can reel them steady and get them in that fast speed category, or you can stop them and get them in that slow category. So in the spring, you could fish this Whopper Plopper, reel it a little bit, stop it. You know, in the summer when the fish are feeding on shad, whopper plopper is a good bait. And especially in the late summer when that water temperature, you know, you can use that steady retrieve. Also, it's perfect because it has a little bit of noise, not overpowering noise. But if the wind picks up, you can still use that plopper and, you know, bring it through the water and draw the fish in with that noise. And one other versatile bait that basically works year round is a frog. You can fish it in the springtime, in the grass, you can fish it popping it, you can fish it in open water walking it. The one thing that you can't do is fish it in the wind, but that's still it's still a versatile bait because you can fish it throughout the year and in most scenarios. So guys, if you enjoy this style video, let me know in the comments below. I'm considering doing a five-part series that's just completely educational where I go in extreme depth on topics such as weather and how the pressure and time of year and water temp affects fish and that sort of thing. So if you like these educational style videos, uh, let me know. If not, you know, I'll just continue on with the blow-up videos and that sort of thing. But looking for your guys' feedback in the, in the comments below, so let me know what you think. And uh, good luck fishing, guys.